Hello, it's Simone. Welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days, day 15. Uh, I've been thinking about cheating even more. Uh, I'm really desperate to ink up my Shown Design Monarch nib in a an Ultum uh, full-size pen, also by Shown Design. And I think I already know what ink I want to put in there. So... I thought about doing that today and just skipping the drawing and using a specific ink that I already know I want to use, but I'm giving myself one more chance and then maybe doing that tomorrow or maybe if that itch has passed, then I'll wait. I just don't want to ink it up on the last day, but then if it's on the last day, that means I'll just keep, a, keep it inked for the rest of the month of October, right? So what's the problem? Okay, well then I, I'll just let it happen. Uh, I picked, before I started this month, I picked, um, I'm gonna pick this one. Uh, I picked 30 inks that I was curious to use. Some are inks that I received in a mystery ink from, mystery ink box from Atlas Stationers. I haven't actually had them inked in any pens. So I put all the ink bottles that I haven't used yet. I ha put several of the ink vent, ink vent 2021 that I haven't used yet. And then I went through all of my samples and added up until I was at 30. And I went through my ink samples and looked at the inks and decided whether I might want to ink them for a whole month or whether they spoke to me and then I put those in into this thing. I made a list, cut them into little teeny tiny snippets and then I am picking one paper snippet every day. This, today, it is going to be Lamy Crystal Ink as right. And I just used this. And I'm going to say used because I made, I put together the ink samples for the giveaway, which you are more than welcome to enter. In order to enter the giveaway, you get an entry for every comment that you leave on any 30 inks, 30 days videos. Uh, the more comments you leave, the better your chances of winning. Um, commenting is open until October 1st, 2023, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you will receive four samples, four, four milliliter, I think one is three uh, milliliter samples of ink. Uh, all the inks that I received in the mystery box from Atlas in July. There will be included a pen and gear um, co mini composition notebook. I just recently went to Walmart and tried this paper out and it's really good with fountain pens. So I thought you might want to try this. And then I also am including a Jinhao 82. There is three winners and yeah. If you're international and you want to enter, please be aware that I would ask you to cover the additional shipping costs that it costs to ship it to your country. I will pay part of it, but not all of it. Uh, okay, um, Lamy as right is an ink that I'm really afraid of because it feels like uh, super dark, very high sheen. You can see the green sheen from the accidents that happened. This ink spilled while in transport. It wasn't that much that I needed to um, contact Atlas about it. It Also, it's not an ink that I think I will love tremendously. And so I, I was okay with not having this completely full. I mean, it's all. It's full. It's just not. So, uh, what pen will I put it in? Is that what, did I finish my train of thought? I think it's a very heavily staining ink. I'm really drawn to this pen at the moment. I don't know if that is a good idea because this is a broad nib. 
but you know I can get it over with and see how I feel about this pen that would be really awesome what do you think this is a broad nib this is another pen that I think would look really fun with this color this is these two are loner pens this one is a sailor king of pens with a broad nib look at the size of this nib and if I am interested in this pen, I can purchase it. I just don't know if I want to. Or, <laughs> well, uh, I really loved this. I feel actually embarrassed that I was so excited about this pen compared to this pen. Because I just, I think the reason why I'm so excited about this pen, because this is not mine. If this is a disappointment, I can just give it back. If this is a dis disappointment, I will have to sell it probably. So I'm. that's why I also don't want to put this ink in here because I'm afraid of how I feel about this. But I'm, I can feel this pen getting closer to being inked. Um, and this one has a medium fine nib. Which one should I choose? I think the black... <laughs> Okay, the reason why I'm not inking this one is because this has black finials and a black grip section, and this is basically purple, um, and that doesn't match. But this pen is completely black, and I don't have a problem with inking that one up. Under someone understand and explain my logic to me. Uh, I haven't even considered putting this into one of my Lamis, and the Lamis are right over here. These three... No, I think I am going to do this. I, that's, I'm going to get it over with. And now I need my notebook, which I totally lost under all the things that I have here. Where could it be though? Huh? Here, I found it. So we are on day 15. I need to check if this brush is still usable I feel like sometimes the ink creeps up all the way and then you have to really push it down so that it comes off right here but I think it, I'm good let's let's do this see what I mean I'm not sure that I I wonder how this might influence my experience look at this basically looks so thick. Yeah. I hope it doesn't taint my experience with the pen. But I think if I can love this pen with this ink, then I will be really... I'm, I'm a step closer in the decision-making process. What is that sound? Oh, there's a cat. Who? Somehow I didn't, I heard a voice that I wasn't familiar with. And then a cat moved behind me and I was like, what? Is there a stranger in my house? No, just a cat. I'll write this last thing and then I'm going to fill the pen and then we'll see how it writes. Okay. Hmm. Uh, not filling the pen just yet. Let me do this. I really like the color story that this is telling, though. What do you think? Which one of those greens and teals that I have shared in the past days? <laughs> I have so many blues in this. I that's how it feels, at least. Um, but I'm I'm really excited that most of these inks are actually really awesome and are winners. I. In the beginning of the month, I felt like I had some duds and I was, I wasn't too happy with how they, how I pulled them out of my box. I was afraid this was going to be a month of disappointments, but no, it's not. It's actually, I'm learning a lot by doing this. So if you haven't done this, Absolutely, filming a video every day is definitely exhausting and you don't have to do that. But if you just can basically ink up a pen 
even if it's just even if you don't have 30 then maybe do 15 if you have 15 uh, empty them halfway through and do another 15 the learning curve is humongous so if you know about king of pens which i have no clue i think i need to watch some videos can i actually remove this um this thing converter or is this just not doable uh yeah so oh my gosh this nib is so big and i let's see if i can put stuff in here don't even see anything this nib is so huge it needs so much um there we go maybe this works okay let's try this one more time can you see what i'm trying to do here can you see any ink in the pen maybe i need to get out the ink miser uh. okay i'm always super afraid another tip pro tip from your pro youtuber um if you are in the market for an ink miser get the transparent one because then you can actually see if you have some ink residue left or not i always put my finger in and rub against the walls just to make sure that i did not accidentally not clean it that would be so bad okay so i'm using this ink miser this is good because there's so much ink on here now i can dip it all the way oh, oopsie can you see what i mean it's all in there let's put this take this out i hope my camera does still record because it's been really low let's see if this works yep it's not full but i don't need a full fill so here is ink right there i hope it's enough if not i will re-ink it later on when i'm doing the transcription project but for now it should be okay um i'm off to the side um drying off the section oh yeah now do i put this back i will uh, if this is a no-no and i just um broke all the holy rules of fountain pen ink inking i'm very sorry about that You could put me into fountain pen jail by commenting really nasty things underneath <laughs> this video and give it some exposure. So I don't think I would cap uh, post cap. I'm not capping it to write because then I can't write. So, all right. This is Lamy. Um, crystal ink. I wonder if it is so juicy and so wet because of uh, the fact that I just inked it. Let me see if I can dab some off. Okay, so this is Sailor King of Pen. I also don't know if it's King of Pen or King of Pens. Black in Broad. This is not my pen, just so to be clear. Uh, but by the way this writes, I can see myself owning one of those in my future. Um, if I decide to keep this one, because I really like that it's black. I don't know. This is just so stunningly beautiful. If I am going to keep this, I will let you know. First of all, I need to know how much uh, my friend would like to ask <laughs> the asking price so that I can make a decision and I'm going to be poor for the rest of my life. But yeah, okay, I will transcribe and I will see you soon. Until then, bye. So, I'm back. <laughs> I'm totally confused by this word, but I figured out it's two. Okay, uh, do not put the word pen and is too close together because you might misread it. <laughs> I'm like, what? It's just like, wow, this penis is just stunning. I'm like, okay, whatever.
<laughs> um, this pen is actually just stunning. I, I really am in love with this pen. Um, I don't know if it's going to be love or not. Um, it wrote beautifully and I'll, I'm just going to read to you what I wrote because this is all I have to say. Uh, wow, this pen is just stunning <laughs> or, <laughs> or maybe something else. It feels like nothing I have ever used before and I love the writing experience. It's so soft and fluffy, but not buttery. And maybe I can elaborate on that a bit more by if you have experience with Pilot Gold Nibs. They are very fluffy, but they feel like they sink into the paper. I cannot describe, I actually, I can't describe it. But, and then you compare the platinum nibs, I am currently in my head comparing medium nibs. The pilot nib goes on the paper and it's buttery smooth. Um, but there is some friction there. Um, the pilot, the platinum nib is very st stiff. Um, and feedback, there's feedback. It doesn't scratch. But there is something there that trans translates from the nib through the hand upwards. This is so weird. It doesn't, it's not like the pilot nibs in that sense that it um, is so smooth and you don't feel any resistance there is resistance but it's also it's like how much pressure probably zero can i put on this nib without breaking it and i'm super afraid to break it because it's sometimes when i'm not careful and i write it feels like it, it's starting to railroad which shouldn't happen with a pen like this but maybe that is because this is not a regular 14k nib but a 21 karat nib i have never used such a nib before it's a big nib so the bounciness can even be more prominent and i can feel it more so i i really cannot grasp how much pressure i can put on and that that's the only thing that made me hesitate because i i really needed to make sure to not well i'm not like pressing the nib on paper usually but like do i have to pull it the other direction because it it makes such easy contact with the paper it's really weird to describe and I do hope that there is someone out there watching this video who has experience with Sailor King of Pens and the nibs and can um, talk to me about this because this is, I, I really, I'm going to go on YouTube later on when I, once I'm done filming this and then I'm going to see, watch reviews on this, on this pen to better understand what I'm experiencing. Um, okay, so what else? Some things I still need to investigate is the wet nib. It's just one. Well, well, the, the bouncy thing is one thing, and then the wet nib, it gushes. There's so much ink falling onto the paper that I'm not sure if this is the pen or the ink. When I did my first bit of research about this ink, I read that or I read that Lamy crystal inks usually are a bit more on the dry side. So I'm not sure if, if that is true or not. Is it the, is it the pen that is super wet? Um, that's something that I want to investigate a little bit further, but if, if it isn't and the price is right, my friend, I will gladly take this pen off your hand. I need to start saving up for this now. I do still have some <laughs> purchases planned, but after that, all my money is yours. Uh, I don't think the ink is as bad as I had expected. 
so when I unboxed the mystery inks, I this was the ink that I wasn't excited about at all. Um, I do not really like the sheen of these this this ink, and when it's it almost looks black when it's super wet. But it's not as bad. It's it's purplish, and every time I used it and every time I look at it, this I I felt like this reminds me of something. And now I think I figured it out. My mom, um, when I was a child, my mom had a an ad address stamp, a wooden one that she would stamp into an ink pad, and I think that is exactly this color. I can still remember getting my fingers inky because I wasn't careful and didn't listen to my mom as, as I did all the time. So I finally know what it reminds me of my mom's old ink pad that she used in my childhood. So that's kind of like what this ink reminds me of. I like it. It's definitely not my favorite. The pen sure is. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, that is my husband practicing the drums. Yes, we are getting to that age where we are uh, midlife crisising. Uh, yeah, goodbye.